Hi everybody, here we are for one sip at the time at the Rico Center for the 8th Juno Cup Hockey Competition. They've just started off with the skills and drills, there's fantastic hockey players out there, and I'm not talking about the hockey players, I'm talking about the Juno nominees and winners. Here at the Rico Center, it's going to be an awesome couple of hours, so let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Blue carpet. All right. <laughs> so congratulations on your incredible career and all your uh, Juno awards and everything else. Uh, it's great to see you out here. Tell me, why is it important for you to be here for Music Town? Well, you know what? First of all, it's a good gathering of the tribes, right? Good gathering of getting the musicians together during the Junos for this game. Everybody can relate to the fact that the music programs in Canada and schools are threatened. There's not enough money, or they're trying to run them with equipment that is so old and broken down. And it's hard for kids that, have, that need some other outlet besides academics and sports. They need some other way to relate to being a kid. So it's easy to get people involved. And a lot of the fun is done during the year. Yeah. The Cup game, which is between um, musicians and NHLers, is the kickoff on the Friday night. Right, okay, awesome. Now tell me, with the social media, and after all, you know, we did get a president elected practically because of social media, how is it affecting the young kids today that are trying to carve out a career? Well, I think in many ways it, it, it has its own obstacles and its own benefits. And the benefit, obviously, is that they can be they can get the word out about their band so much, more. and that is, and that's international. So people can see them in Denmark in the same way they can see them in Des Moines. And so, you know, I think that that's a, that's a great thing. The problem is it's much more difficult to distinguish. You, you know, you, there's going, you're going out there with thousands and thousands of people. And I definitely worry about the economics of bands. I, I, I know that, you know, record sales have gone way down because of illegal downloading. And that's okay if you deserve music. But it makes it difficult for young bands to have a career. Because they don't make enough money to quit their job. Yeah. You can't quit your job. You can't devote Musician, and then your artistry is going to suffer. So I worry about that. From the well, All yeah. right, we got to wrap it up. All right, okay. Well, he's required you. Elsewhere. Wine. I was going to ask you if you could choose one wine, I'm, and you might want to say ice wine. I don't know. If you could choose one wine to have. Yeah, one wine. What would it be? I would have a Hermitage La Chapelle. 1990. Oh. Lovely. Okay. What if you had to do a Canadian wine? Canadian wine. Yeah. I'd have. I'd have either a, the new uh, Ronald Geraldo. Geraldo uh, ice wine. Oh yeah. This is a new ice wine. Yeah. Uh, or I'd have a, a, a Taz uh, Chardonnay. Oh, Taz yeah, these states. Great awesome. Thank you. Thank Good. All right. I'd like to get that day. wine in. Here. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Bye. -bye. Whoa. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.